Check in with 13 First Alert Chief Meteorologist Brian Schofield. Well, it's looking like just a few clouds there behind you in that picture. I know it's misleading how it looks versus <laughs> how it feels out there. You're still wearing that air. Oh, it's so disgusting in, at, in some locations, I suppose. Uh, but we've got the heat, we've got the humidity. What's going to take to unlock it? What are we going to have come through the valley to really push it out of the way? Well, it might be another disturbance and it might be as quick as uh, middle of the week. So we might really start to see things ramp up. We know we got the humidity in place. I'm going to show you how it will, the ebb and flow, how that will change throughout the week. And that'll mean better chances for thunderstorms. But that humidity, even though it doesn't look so impressively high with this heat, that's all it takes to to make it feel like 108 to 110 easily. So even though the numbers look like they've cooled down, that is a little misleading. They really don't feel any cooler. I know most of you are not noticing a cool down. Uh, sometimes the nights have been very pleasant because everything kind of settled down or you get a, a cool breeze from a shower in the picture. But other than that, those, those are some rich numbers right there. 13 First Alert Desert Doppler. We're keeping our eyes to the sky, as we said earlier, but mainly over toward the east as well because we've watched to the north and now we're getting a few showers popping up and we know we still have that potential. Even though we're going to give you some better days to get showers. It's not to say we don't have a chance tonight, not to say we won't have a chance tomorrow night, but those will be more of the pop-up kind. The kinds that will be a little more obvious will be by midweek. And of course, we're watching storms to the east because so often they stick together long enough and then die soon enough to give us that rush of air, which will blow around dust and sand because we get that long before we get the showers out of the bargain. That's too bad, really. But let me show you humidity tracker. Uh, Tuesday, not impressive, but still sticky out there. That's not going to change. Very impressive Wednesday, but I think very, very impressive as we get into Thursday. So Wednesday and Thursday, better days to get storms. Thursday being the better of the two, but uh, don't want to count out Wednesday. But we can sort of count out the weekend, end of the week and the weekend, because it looks like high pressure builds in and then stays in strong and dries out the air just enough. It won't be dry, but it'll be drier and maybe enough to keep those thunderstorms at bay through the end of the weekend, early next week. So we're going to keep them in for the next couple of days, but not so much in for the weekend. And I think by Thursday that'll effectively drop temperatures down Wednesday too, if we can get some afternoon storms going. So low 100s there, but that's uh, counting on rain cooled air and a lot of humidity as opposed to it just being naturally cooler. Either way, over the weekend we warm back up with high pressure overhead and dry things out a little bit. All right, back to you. All right.